What's in that bottle, mate? Oh, this special mix. So uh, we put a little bit of stuff in there, but the uh, primary mix in here is Land Cruiser Owner Tears. Works really well on the F-Truck. <laughs> Just got the truck set up here. First ever four door Bronco. These 30 inch tyres. Hot. So stay tuned to the channel for that. So today we're down here at Ink and Scratch. Trent, he's my signage guy. I come to him for all my business signage and everything else, and he's the one that designed the FTEC logo and things for me. And today we're doing a major change on the F250. It's, it's, I think it's time. The truck's been, been black for two years now, and um, still going to leave the canopy the original colour, but we are going to wrap the truck today, and we are going to wrap it in Sandy Torp. See, I told you as I ride the skateboard every day. I haven't brought it down here to come for a rip. Stalking for land cruisers. And there might be one over in this bush to our right. <laughs> Not sure enough. Oh, there's one. Got one. Looking for shade. It's hiding. I think it might even be higher, eh? What I should do is just cut that whole row off because it's none of them. Is yeah, it? it's none of them. So it's getting so hard to match this colour. We've been messing with this for like two hours now to try and get it as close to it as we can because I can't find a vinyl wrap that's actually 3M to put on the F truck. So we're going to have to match it and print it. Such a sick colour, but so this is one of Trent's mates' trucks just down the road here. Got a mitt set up too. So basically, just going to do the door, this door, front guard, bonnet, and then all the back's going to stay the same colour. I'll probably swap out and put the uh, the desert tan Max Tracks on the outside to blend in. So it kind of brings the back into the front, into the sandy top, but I think it's going to look sick when it's done. I'm saying it's up in the fours, man. So ignore the lines in the printing, but we're just trying to get a colour, and I'm thinking it's one, one cross with five is what we're leaning towards. It's pretty much dead on the money, I think. Pretty close. What do you think? You, we're on. So we're just going through the process now of trying to colour match with one of Trent's mates, 79 Sandy Top down the road, trying to get as close as we can because there's no actual product or colour on the market as a vinyl wrap to get it exact. So we're trying to colour match right now and it's been a bit of a struggle. We've been working on it for about two hours, but um. I think we've got it nailed as close as we can get it. We're never gonna get it perfect because um, it's not like paint where you can color code match this stuff. So um, yeah, see how we go. And we're gonna start printing and start wrapping this big girl. Oh no, me old boys here. Fuck, look at it. Some ramps. Doing the wrong car, <laughs> mate. What's a piece of shit? <laughs> Needs to look like a shape there. <laughs> hey, have a look at this.
Is that finished now? Yep. <laughs> That's it? Uh, just got to edge tape it with some sticky tape, just so it doesn't come off. <laughs> and, um, good to go, man. Oh, i get my magnets off. Too. Yeah. Yep. It won't blow off when I'm driving down the road? No, nah, the sticky tape will hold it down. <laughs> Ta-da! Sandy Super Duty. It looks so sick, I'm so happy with it. And I can't wait to finally maybe get it to the shows and stuff and show you guys in person this truck. I think it would uh, absolutely stand out at the four-wheel drive shows and stuff. So fingers crossed all that stuff starts happening again and I can come and meet and greet and all the rest of it. I'm on my way right now. We're going on a massive trip um, with a TV program so by the time you guys see this I'll be out on the trip and I'll have an Instagram stories coming up and all the rest of it so currently on the beach up at Hawks Nest it's about to start pouring rain on me so I'm gonna get out of the weather but I want to show you guys the sandy top before it all hits Instagram and social media so you guys here see it first thank you for supporting the channel thank you for subscribing the truck is now fully branded F Tech the brand it is a brand now it's official, so I'm so stoked with the truck and, and how it's all come together, but um, on our way, where are we going? Hang on. Pilliger National Park we're going, to. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep these out of the rain. I'm getting wet right now, but. The Sandy Super Duty. Whew. Big shout out to uh, Trent at Ink and Scratch for wrapping this big girl. Looks so sick, I'm so happy with it. Nice little inlay there, looks so cool. Sorry to all you 79 boys. I had to. I'm so pumped on this thing. The only Sandy Torp. F250 in the world. <laughs> it's bloody high tide too, and like I had next to no room driving up the beach. Like the waves and stuff were hitting the side of the wheels. I'm like, ooh, the tide's going out, so I should be all right. But so truck's a little bit dirty from the dust and stuff and the rain. But got the F Tech Mountains, got the Instagram, YouTube down there, F Tech logo on the doors. 
little inlay there on the F250 on the badge, but have a go at her. And yes, the uh, Sandy Torp GME Aerial, I had to. <laughs> but as much as this was trying to have a dig at all the 79 boys and their Sandy Torp trucks, it actually turned out way better than I even thought it was going to. <laughs> so I hope you guys think it looks sick too. Drop a comment below, let me know what you think of it. We'll try and get some close-ups here of the colour. It's kind of hard today with the overcast. It looks greyer than what it really is, but... So sick. And of course, I flipped the Max tracks from the green ones and put the uh, Desert Tan ones on the outside. So... Anyway, guys, I'm out of here. I'm going to uh, pack this up now. Thank you for subscribing, thank you for liking, thank you for commenting. It's just this skinny, narrow path all the way up and the waves are coming right up to the vegetation. <laughs> Probably not the best day to come up here, but anyway. Yes, Sandy. Super duty. Looks so good. I'm so happy with this thing. Just a nice freshen up. If you've got a four-wheel drive and you want to like freshen it up. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's dropped heaps. You can see like just here, this is where the water was when I just come in about 45 minutes ago. It's just dropped off the edge now. So I just, just inflated. Everything's pumped back up to highway pressures. About to uh, hit the road and go out to Pilliga National Park is where we're heading today. This truck is going to be acting as the camera vehicle um, for a TV show this week. So might it might feature in there, I'm not sure. But we'll, uh, I'll let you know if it does, what program it is and stuff. But about to get off the beach here, get back on the road. I'll go and wash the truck and stuff and get the sand and that off it, but Sandy Super Duty, ta-da! So sick. There's no more game-changing 79 builds. We need more F-250 builds. We need more Ram builds. We need more American truck builds. And we need more budget builds. Which is something I'm working on. Thinking about doing a budget truck. Something I can go and do hard tracks on because I bloody miss doing that stuff and this truck's just, just too big for it. This is built for long distance touring, this thing is, so. I'd like to get a um, either a, a 60 series or an 80 series and build it up just completely different but to what everyone else does, something really sick. So, right, I'm out of here. I'll uh, catch you guys in the next bit, eh? If you wanna get more updates or sneaky things that comes out before YouTube, jump onto Instagram, Lucky9Design, everything's in the description below and you'll always get like little sneaky things there I'm doing during the week on my stories and stuff or um, posts that I do, so check that out. But Sandy Super Duty. See ya, legends. I'm out of here.